CIETNCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 7 Chapter 9 Rational Numbers Page 184 9.9 .9. Operations on Rational Numbers You know how to add, subtract, multiply and divide integers as well as fractions. Let us now study these basic operations on rational numbers. 9.9.1 Addition Let us add two rational numbers with same denominators, say 7 upon 3 and minus 5 upon 3. We find 7 upon 3 plus minus 5 upon 3. On the number line, we have, we have a number line drawn here. The distance between two consecutive points is 1 upon 3. So, adding minus 5 upon 3 to 7 upon 3 will mean moving to the left of 7 upon 3, making 5 jumps. Where do we reach? We reach at 2 upon 3. So, 7 upon 3 plus minus 5 upon 3 is equal to 2 upon 3. Let us now try this way. 7 upon 3 plus minus 5 upon 3 is equal to 7 plus minus 5 upon 3, which is equal to 2 upon 3. We get the same answer. Find 6 upon 5 plus minus 2 upon 5. 3 upon 7 plus minus 5 upon 7 in both ways and check if you get the same answers. Page 185 Similarly, minus 7 upon 8 plus 5 upon 8 would be We have the number line given here. What do you get? Also, minus 7 upon 8 plus 5 upon 8 is equal to minus 7 plus 5 upon 8, which is equal to dash. Are the two values same? Try these. Find minus 13 upon 7 plus 6 upon 7. 19 upon 5 plus minus 7 upon 5. So, we find that while adding rational numbers with same denominators, we add the numerators, keeping the denominators same. Thus, minus 11 upon 5 plus 7 upon 5 is equal to minus 11 plus 7 upon 5, which is equal to minus 4 upon 5. How do we add rational numbers with different denominators? As in the case of fractions, we first find the LCM of the two denominators. Then, we find the equivalent rational numbers of the given rational numbers with this LCM as the denominator. Then, add the two rational numbers. For example, let us add minus 7 upon 5 and minus 2 upon 3. LCM of 5 and 3 is 15. So, minus 7 upon 5 is equal to minus 21 upon 15 and minus 2 upon 3 is equal to minus 10 upon 15. Thus, minus 7 upon 5 plus minus 2 upon 3 is equal to minus 21 upon 15 plus minus 10 upon 15, which is equal to minus 31 upon 15. Try these. Find 1. Minus 3 upon 7 plus 2 upon 3. 2. Minus 5 upon 6 plus Minus 3 upon 11. Additive inverse. 
what will be minus 4 upon 7 plus 4 upon 7 is equal to dash minus 4 upon 7 plus 4 upon 7 is equal to minus 4 plus 4 upon 7 which is equal to 0. Also 4 upon 7 plus minus 4 upon 7 is equal to 0. Page 186 Similarly, minus 2 upon 3 plus 2 upon 3 is equal to 0, which is equal to 2 upon 3 plus minus 2 upon 3. In the case of integers, we call minus 2 as the additive inverse of 2 and 2 as the additive inverse of minus 2. For rational numbers also, we call minus 4 upon 7 as the additive inverse of 4 upon 7 and 4 upon 7 as the additive inverse of minus 4 upon 7. Similarly, minus 2 upon 3 is the additive inverse of 2 upon 3 and 2 upon 3 is the additive inverse of minus 2 upon 3. Try these. What will be the additive inverse of minus 3 upon 9, minus 9 upon 11, 5 upon 7? Example 6. Satpal walks 2 upon 3 kilometers from a place P towards east and then from there 1 5 upon 7 kilometers towards west. Where will he be now from P? Solution Let us denote the distance travelled towards east by positive sign. So, the distances towards west would be denoted by negative sign. Thus, distance of Satpal from the point P would be 2 upon 3 plus minus 1 5 upon 7 which is equal to 2 upon 3 plus minus 12 upon 7, which is equal to 2 multiplied by 7 upon 3 multiplied by 7 plus minus 12 multiplied by 3 upon 7 multiplied by 3, which is equal to 14 minus 36 upon 21, which is equal to minus 22 upon 21, which is equal to minus 1, 1 upon 21. Since it is negative, it means Satpal is at a distance 1, 1 upon 21 kilometer towards west of P. 9.9.9 Subtraction Savita found the difference of two rational numbers 5 upon 7 and 3 upon 8 in this way. 5 upon 7 minus 3 upon 8 is equal to 40 minus 21 upon 56 which is equal to 19 upon 56. Farida knew that for two integers a and b, she could write a minus b is equal to a plus minus b. Page 187 She tried this for rational numbers also and found 5 upon 7 minus 3 upon 8 is equal to 5 upon 7 plus minus 3 upon 8, which is equal to 19 upon 56. Both obtained the same difference. Try to find 7 upon 8 minus 5 upon 9, 
3 upon 11 minus 8 upon 7 in both ways. Did you get the same answer? So, we say, while subtracting two rational numbers, we add the additive inverse of the rational number that is being subtracted to the other rational number. Thus, 1, 2 upon 3 minus 2, 4 upon 5 is equal to 5 upon 3 minus 14 upon 5, which is equal to 5 upon 3 plus additive inverse of 14 upon 5, which is equal to 5 upon 3 plus minus 14 upon 5, which is equal to minus 17 upon 15, which is equal to minus 1, 2 upon 15. What will be 2 upon 7 minus minus 5 upon 6? 2 upon 7 minus minus 5 upon 6 is equal to 2 upon 7 plus additive inverse of minus 5 upon 6, which is equal to 2 upon 7 plus 5 upon 6, which is equal to 47 upon 42, which is equal to 1, 5 upon 42. Try these. Find 1. 7 upon 9 minus 2 upon 5. 2. 2, 1 upon 5 minus minus 1 upon 3. 9.9.3 9 .3. Multiplication Let us multiply the rational number minus 3 upon 5 by 2. That is, we find minus 3 upon 5 multiplied by 2. On the number line, it will mean 2 jumps of 3 upon 5 to the left. Where do we reach? We reach at minus 6 upon 5. Let us find it as we did in fractions. Minus 3 upon 5 multiplied by 2 is equal to minus 3 multiplied by 2 upon 5, which is equal to minus 6 upon 5. We arrive at the same rational number. Find minus 4 upon 7 multiplied by 3. Minus 6 upon 5 multiplied by 4 using both ways. What do you observe? Page 188 So, we find that while multiplying a rational number by a positive integer, we multiply the numerator by that integer keeping the denominator unchanged. Let us now multiply a rational number by a negative integer. Minus 2 upon 9 multiplied by minus 5 is equal to minus 2 multiplied by minus 5 upon 9, which is equal to 10 upon 9. Remember, minus 5 can be written as minus 5 upon 1. So, minus 2 upon 9 multiplied by minus 5 upon 1 is equal to 10 upon 9, which is equal to minus 2 multiplied by minus 5 upon 9 multiplied by 1. Similarly, 3 upon 11 multiplied by minus 2 is equal to 3 multiplied by minus 2 
upon 11 multiplied by 1, which is equal to minus 6 upon 11. Based on these observations, we find that minus 3 upon 8 multiplied by 5 upon 7 is equal to minus 3 multiplied by 5 upon 8 multiplied by 7, which is equal to minus 15 upon 56. Try these. What will be 1 minus 3 upon 5 multiplied by 7? 2 minus 6 upon 5 multiplied by minus 2. So, as we did in the case of fractions, we multiply two rational numbers in the following way. Step 1. Multiply the numerators of the two rational numbers. Step 2. Multiply the denominators of the two rational numbers. Step 3. Write the product as result of step 1 upon result of step 2. Thus, minus 3 upon 5 multiplied by 2 upon 7 is equal to minus 3 multiplied by 2 upon 5 multiplied by 7, which is equal to minus 6 upon 35. Also, minus 5 upon 8 multiplied by minus 9 upon 7 is equal to minus 5 multiplied by minus 9 upon 8 multiplied by 7, which is equal to 45 upon 56. Try these. Find 1 minus 3 upon 4 multiplied by 1 upon 7. 2 2 upon 3 multiplied by minus 5 upon 9. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator, Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production, Samya Malik. Producer, Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET, NCERT, New Delhi, India.